Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. I am Martina Lilly and today I thought it would be fun to lip swatch for you guys my Lisa Eldridge lipstick collection. I have eight in total. I am a massive, massive Lisa Eldridge fan, like truly a fangirl of Lisa Eldridge. Uh, and one of you guys did ask for this video and I was like, that is a fun video idea. So hopefully that sounds interesting to you guys. If it does, go ahead and do the youtube -y things, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's get into it. So if you are new to Lisa Eldridge or like her makeup brand in particular, it's a newer brand. It's been around for about three years, I believe now, and she is just impeccable. I absolutely adore Lisa Eldridge. She is one of the most she just seems like such a genuine, lovely person, and her videos for me are just the most calming type videos, and I can watch her apply makeup and talk about makeup literally all day. She is amazing. Anyway, my dream would be like to have her do my makeup one day. I would die. She launched her brand with lipsticks initially, and she launched it with the Velvet formula, and they had these bullets that literally looked like velvet. They were absolutely a complete work of art, and then since then, she's added two additional formulas which is the insanely saturated and the luxuriously lucent so I have three velvets three luxuriously lucent and two insanely saturated so we will lip swatch all of those uh, first of all what I'm gonna do is just swipe into some swatches for you guys so I'm gonna swatch the all of them compared to each other and then I'll do like just the velvets just the uh, luxuriously lucent and just the saturated and also I have three lip liners from her as well just so you can see the swatches and then we will do the like active or the live lip swatches if you will also before we get into the swatches the lipsticks are about 27 pound so depending on where you are in the world it for Australians for reference is about 50 ish Australian dollars per lipstick you can order off the Lisa Eldridge website but recently she did launch on Selfridges which is amazing because uh, on the Lisa Eldridge website, depending on where you live in the world for Australians, I had to spend two, minimum $200 to get free shipping. And then if I had to pay for shipping, it was like 50 Australian dollars. So I would always have to, if I wanted to order from her website, it had to be like a $200 order for me. Cause I was like, I'm not going to spend $50 on shipping for like one lipstick, for example. But I have a Selfridges, uh, shipping membership thing so now I can just buy all of the Lisa Eldridge I wish. Uh, which I love and adore. <laughs> and it's also bad for my wallet. It is. Anyway, let's swipe into the swatches. We are going to start with the Velvet formula for the lip swatches. The Velvet formula is also the first formula I tried from her. The first uh, lipstick, I should say, I ever picked up from Lisa was Velvet Fawn. Now, just a little bit about the Velvet formula in case you haven't seen it before. So it's saturated and highly pigmented lipstick with a beautiful true velvet effect on the surface of the bullet, which looks exactly like velvet fabric. The formulation is a creamy hydrating matte with a slight sheen. It's not a flat matte. The color is long wearing and non-drying on the lips. And I really agree with the description of the velvet formula. It really is non-drying on the lips, at least for me personally. I find it to be really, really long wearing and kind of bunch, well, it's long wearing. It will move around a little bit. So it's not like gonna dry down and be like stuck to your lips like a liquid lipstick can be, like a matte liquid lipstick. And it really does have a little bit more to it than just a flat matte. So I really do find the description from the velvet formula is just absolutely spot on. Let's try Velvet uh, Fawn first. I also have the Velvet Fawn lip liner, so let's apply that. That is the Velvet Fawn lip liner, if you're wondering, and I really like it. It's actually a lovely, lovely lip liner. Her lip liner formula is one of my all-time favorites. It's absolutely beautiful. Honestly, my goal which I know is absolutely lud absolutely ludicrous, I get it, but my goal would one day, not my goal, but my dream, dream is a better word, I would love to own every single one of her lipsticks and lip liners and lip glosses and everything, because truly the formula, 
it's just like a library of lipsticks that I would love to just have in my collection, especially because I'm such a fangirl of Lisa. <laughs> anyway, velvet form. I think you can see as well how easily these apply. That was like one swipe pigment. And if you want to, you can just dab it on the lips and kind of just like pat it out. And it will be like a semi sheer kind of lip color on the lips. And it's really beautiful. So the one thing that I do love about her lipsticks is you can, especially the velvet form, uh, sorry, the velvet and the insanely saturated formulas, you can really like sheer them out to be a soft wash of color. You can really build the pigment up. This is Velvet Fawn on the lips. And we'll do the awkward little like Vogue model for my lips. <laughs> I always feel awkward doing that, but anyway. I love Velvet Fawn. It is absolutely beautiful. It is such a gorgeous lip color, truly. And these will really wear. Like I find I can pretty much just apply these once in the morning and they'll last pretty much the whole day. It's great. All right, let's go ahead now and move on to the next shade. The next shade that I picked up was Velvet Petal and I also picked up the lip liner to match as well. So let's go ahead and apply Velvet Petal. So this is Velvet Petal. And it is just this beautiful pinky nude. I absolutely love it. It is truly beautiful. It does not get the love and wear time it deserves in my collection. I'm not going to lie. It's, but it is beautiful. It really is. But the one thing I will say, and you might have noticed in the swatches as well, is I personally find with Lisa's website, the lip colors and the swatches or the way that she presents them on the website, I often find that they're very different in person for me, at least on my skin tone. And like, for example, I bought Velvet Petal and a couple of others all in one order and they kind of were all the exact same color, but they didn't look like that or weren't described like that on the website either. So I do find um, researching if you're like only looking for specific shades or a specific type of shade, I really would like Google all of the lip swatches and everything and on different skin tones because I do find that they do look different to the website. At least, at least for me. And the last velvet that I have is Sorcery, which was one of her newer collections. I believe she dropped this actually with her eyeshadow palettes. Uh, so, and when I saw this color, I was like, oh, that's like the 90s grunge color I am loving. So this is the Sorcery lip liner. And then this is Sorcery True Velvet. This is Velvet Sorcery. And I really, really like this lip color. I feel like, I don't know if anyone will kind of get this vibe, but whenever I wear this lip color on me at least, I always feel like craft vibes. Like, do you remember the movie The Craft? <laughs> that is how I feel. I feel like this like witchy, like craft, like charmed vibes. 90s. I don't know. It takes me back to my teenage years. Anyway, so that is the three velvet lipsticks I have swatched. Let's go ahead and move on to the Luxuriously Lucent formula. I have three of the Luxuriously Lucent lipsticks and this is probably my favorite formula from her just because if you know me and you know the kind of lipstick formula I love, this is just completely my wheelhouse. So the description of the Luxuriously Lucent is an ultra modern, ultra comfortable, ultra luxury lip color, sheer to semi sheer, buildable balmy lip color with a satin finish, delivering in luscious, sheer washes or radiantly polished full creamy coverage this comfortable and luxurious texture feels smooth light and pleasurable on the lips again nailed the description completely agree with this these are those kind of fuss free throw them on the on in the dark they have that satin glossy type finish you know comfortable all day wear don't dry the lips out formula definitely like a lip balm but in a lipstick form i really find these to be quite hydrating throughout the day and i absolutely adore this formula this is hands down my favorite formula from her but they aren't as long wearing as the velvets and the insanely saturated you do need to reapply these throughout the day but because they're so comfy and just fuss free on the lips i'm fine with that the first formula that i actually picked up from the luxuriously lucent was je ne sais quoi and this was one of her newer releases last year, I think her summer release. And I did actually think this was more of a nude, but it is quite coral on the lips. Now, I don't find you need a lip liner with these personally. You obviously can if you want to, but just because I don't have the matching lip liners, I'll just apply them without.
that is je ne sais quoi. And this is a really nice summer lip. I don't really get a lot of wear out of this, if I'm going to be honest. It's probably just not quite my vibe. I do like it. In the summer, it has its moments. But, and like, I could totally see, like, if you are, you know, in like that European or American summer right now where you're just like going out all the time, this is definitely the vibe. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I do like it. It's just, this is probably my least favorite shade that I own just because it's not something that I would naturally gravitate towards, but it is very pretty. Then I went on this hunt to like find my perfect nude, like my perfect everyday fast free nude from Lisa Eldridge. And the shade that I wanted was sold out. So I picked this one up instead thinking, and again, thinking that it was going to be a little bit different because the way that it's presented on the website, and it's no shade or hate to Lisa, honestly, it's just for me, the way that they translate on my skin tone is very different. But this is Kitten Mischief, and this is probably one of the kind of, she doesn't have a lot of nudes in her collection, which I appreciate because, you know, a nude is a nude and you can get them across, you know, a vir a, when I say nude, sorry as well, I don't mean to say like nude as in my kind of skin tone, nude of just like your skin tones version of nude if that kind of makes sense she really comes up with like unique colors for her lip products i think instead of just releasing the kind of same same over and over again that most brands do no shade or hate anyway uh but i wanted to find my everyday color my comfort zone color for her if you will and i thought kitten mischief would be it and it's not quite i like it i like it but it's not my comfort zone this is kitten mischief and again listen very very beautiful very beautiful i do love it i reach for it quite a bit it's probably just a touch deeper than i wanted and a touch more like warm toned than what i wanted so because of that it's not the comfort zone nude that i was looking for but i do still love it i'm still happy to have it in my collection i think it's absolutely beautiful and it has a moment i think if you're slightly deeper skin than me or a deeper skin tone than me this will probably be like your perfect kind of sh everyday shade for her if that's your vibe but um yeah, I do still quite like it, though it's very pretty. Last but not least in the Luxuriously Lucent formula is the shade that I have been coveting for months. It has been sold out for the longest time, and when I saw it get dropped on Selfridge, I was, I was like, get in my cart. I have been, I've just known from day dot that this shade was going to be the shade that I was looking for in, like, her formula, like, in her lipstick collection, and this is Lemme Pre, and this is my current holy grail favorite lip color. I just absolutely love and adore this. And it honestly probably looks like nothing special just applied like this. I do like to apply it with the Fawn lip liner and it just creates this like perfect everyday comfort zone lip color for me. But I just absolutely love and adore this. It's the perfect kind of nude shade for me that I was looking for. It's my comfort zone and it goes with like every kind of look. I just absolutely love Le Mer Pre. Now let's move on to the Insanely Saturated formula. So I have two of the Insanely Saturated formulas. Now this formula is described as a full-on deliciously creamy full coverage lip color, glides seamlessly on the lips and delivers a weightless luminous demi-matte finish in one swipe. Make a statement with the electrifying glamorous paint box of rainbow brights and, oh gosh, insu... insu insouciant pouty pinks of the Insanely Saturated lip color range. These are a special formula for me because they're not like they are a little bit of a matte but they're not they're not drying on the lips they're not a liquid lipstick but these are long wearing these are some of the longest wearing lipsticks i own period hands down even over like liquid lipsticks i one time wore sunday matinee which i'll try in a second um shopping with my mum. i wore it all day i did not reapply it and when i left in the morning and i got home at like six o'clock at night my lipstick was still absolutely perfect, even through eating lunch, everything. It was just like mind blowing to me. So in terms of long wearing, just comfortable, bright, bold colors on the lips, I really recommend the Insanely Saturated formula if that's what you're looking for. The velvets will give you long wearing as well, but these are a whole other level of like intense pigment and long wearing for me. And they're just very comfortable on the lips, which is the main thing. I will actually just put uh, the petal lip liner on for this one because it's a lot more pigmented than the Luxuriously Lucent formula. This one is Sunday Matinee. I think you can tell, insanely pigmented, 
absolutely beautiful. I will say you might sometimes get your Lisa lipsticks and they might be broken in like the case. This is because of the way that the formula, like she's formulated these lipsticks. The, the customer service team is well aware of it. If you send a photo or a video to the customer service team, they will either immediately send you a replacement or issue you a refund if it's out of stock. They're, like they're fully aware of it and they will be more than helpful when that happens. And it is, yeah, something to do with her formulation and she's kind of not changing it because it compromises what is so special about the formulation, if that makes sense. Anyway, so this is Sunday Matinee. I really like this. It's kind of similar to Velvet Petal though, as you can probably tell. And that's, I picked this Sunday Matinee up and Petal in the same order and I kind of put them on and I was like, uh, they're kind of same, same, but different. But I do really like this one. I think it's very, very beautiful. I love, if I had to pick between Velvet and Sunday Matinee, actually, I would pick Sunday Matinee just because this formula is chef's kiss. Last but not least, we have one of my all time favorite lipsticks, which is Strawberry Shock. And this is one of the best reds. I have ever come across. I absolutely love and adore it and every single time I wear it you guys go crazy for it in the comments. So we're going to apply this one. I don't unfortunately have a red lip liner from Lisa Aldridge but I do have a Charlotte Tilbury one so I'll apply this. You know I never noticed how dry and tuggy these are on the lips until I use my Lisa ones first and then compare this. I need a red Lisa lip liner for sure. All right, let's do Strawberry Shock. This is Strawberry Shock. What do we think? I absolutely love this lipstick. I think it is one of the most beautiful red lipsticks I have ever come across, truly. And again, such a long wearing formula and I don't ever worry about this formula kind of like smearing or going over my face awkwardly or anything like that either, which is nice. All right, that is all of my Lisa Eldridge lipsticks swatched. Hopefully that was helpful for you in some way, shape or form or just a little bit of makeup fun. Uh, what is your favorite Lisa Eldridge lipstick shade if you own any or what are you eyeing off if they are on your wish list? Let me know in the comments down below. If you're watching till this point, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so, so much. I truly appreciate it. And I hope you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time. Bye.